what's up royals welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be potting up some beautiful flowers for the spring and yeah i'm gonna take you guys along with me i started some sunflowers from seed i started some marigolds from seed and then i also purchased some tulips from Walmart that I'm gonna pot up. So yeah, if you want to watch me pot up these beautiful flowers, just keep on watching. Okay, so I have three different pots. This first pot is a big blue one. I got this big blue one from Lowe's. It's fade resistant and it's frost resistant. So that's really why I liked this one. And then at the bottom of this one, if you can see those holes right there, you can punch those holes out. Um, you don't need a drill or anything like that. So yeah, that's super easy and convenient if you don't have any tools. Then I got this white one. Oh my goodness, I love this white one. I love the texture on it. It's so pretty. And then I got this smaller yellow one and I love the texture on it. It's so freaking pretty. So yeah, I think these are gonna be really pretty in my garden. If you're looking for reasonably priced pots, try like your dollar stores and things like that. They usually have some pretty good sized pots for a reasonable price. This one was $4.50, this one was like six bucks, and then this one at Lowe's was 15. The reason why I'm potting these flowers is because I'm trying to create a butterfly garden. So yeah, I thought it would be super cool to pot up some flowers and see if we can attract some butterflies. So yeah, that's the point of me doing all of this because I want to just have some beauty in my garden. I was kind of getting crazy with just the vegetables and then I was like, I don't have any flowers. Like I need some beautiful color in this garden as well. So these flowers are going to just bring some life and some beauty into the garden. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So some of these pots don't have the little um, holes at the bottom that you can punch out. This one doesn't have it and this one doesn't have it either. But I did purchase a drill so I'm going to go ahead and put some holes at the bottom of these. Yeah. So I purchased a drill from Walmart and then I just purchased this spade drill bit like it's a three fourths inch so I think that'll be perfect for the bottom of these containers. So I just got like a flat surface like I don't know what this is but it's just flat so I'm gonna go ahead and punch the holes out with that and see if it works. Ooh, it worked! Now, I do see like this little marking right here. I'm not sure if that's like a hole punch. I don't believe that it is. This one has it as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and drill some holes. the pot so we're gonna go ahead and put some soil into the pot so we're gonna put some fertilizer in the pots just like a handful um, doesn't have to be super specific and yeah let's do it <laughs> I'm just 
just gonna put a few rocks at the bottom of the holes for these pots so that they drain better. So. fertilizer so that the plants get the nutrients immediately and then you know the granulated fertilizers for a little bit later when they're gonna need that nutrients so for this we're just gonna do one cap full to one gallon and that should be enough <music>
sunflowers really needed to be um, repotted so I'm excited to see how much they you know shoot up after getting all of this nutrients from the new soil and everything like that. Seed starting soil isn't really anything but peat moss and perlite and that doesn't really have any nutrients in it so yeah as soon as they get their first true leaves you do want to transplant them where they're going to be. All right, so this is what the pots are looking like. This is sunflowers. These are a dwarf sunflower. And then we have our tulips. They're looking a little crazy, but when they get established, they will start to stand up nicely. And then we have, I'm not sure what this is called, but this is for butterflies. Hopefully it'll, you know, take up this whole little pot, so. I'm really happy with how these came out. They're gonna look super nice and super colorful in the garden. So yeah, I'm so happy. All right, Royal, so that wraps up this video. I hope that it was super helpful and it brought you a little joy to your day. Maybe it made you smile from the colors. It definitely makes me smile every time I look out the window. So I'm super excited to see how these start to grow and bloom. I hope the butterflies love it as well. Um, I will be planting like four more different flowers so I need to find a few more pots. Um, if you want to see that video make sure that you subscribe um, so that you don't miss it. Until then I will see you next time. Bye Royals!